Initially, uh, the person that had the greatest impact for wrestling for me was my high school coach, Don Borelli. Um, he took me, basically dragged me off of the basketball court because I was trying out for basketball and brought me into the wrestling room. Um, and the wrestling room wasn't impressive either. That, that's not what impressed me about Don. What impressed me about Don Borelli uh, is he was a large guy, he was a Marine, and uh, he knew my name. He said, hey, well, you can be an impact to, the, to our program. Um, and I, I just kind of felt loved, and he brought me in, into wrestling. I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> and uh, I, then I'd say after that, my father, um, he, knew me, he knew me really well. He, he had a great impact on my wrestling career. He, he knew how to um, bring out the best in me. Um, he was always at my side, win or lose, but uh, he was also kind of a thorn on my side when it was on the losing side, but that's kind of made me who I am today. Uh, as far as heroes go for wrestling, um, honestly, uh, but my uh, grandfather, he took me to the Cow Palace <laughs> and to see professional wrestling, and uh, my initial, I guess, wrestling hero was Pat Patterson, who was the intercontinental um, WWE champion, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, professional wrestling, you know, I watched that for a couple years, and I thought that was the greatest thing ever. Um, then uh, when I actually got into r real wrestling, as we know it, of course, uh, when I was in high school, uh, my influence was uh, Dave Schultz. Dave Schultz, uh, he had just come off the, winning the gold medal um, in the 84 Olympics, and um, this was, so was about 85 for me, and I remember um, going to camp in San Jose and my family driving to camp. And we saw Dave uh, just kind of walking, you know, like he does, you know, just he had this interesting walk, confident walk. And uh, we stopped, my dad stopped the car, made us get pictures with him, and he was super nice. Um, and then at the camp, you know, we got to, I got to see him more, and he was demonstrating a leg lace. <laughs> and he hit it on my buddy Marco Sanchez, and he hit this leg lace. I mean, it was like a second, and Marco just, ah! And uh, I saw the bruise instantaneously <laughs> forming from a second of a leg lace from him, and I thought, that, that, that's... That's, that was awesome. And then in um, my first uh, U.S. Open, I saw Dave Russell live for the first time. And I remember I'm hitting a front headlock on a guy. I don't know who the guy was on his opponent. And he, 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 the guy was choked out. <laughs> and he kind of just shook him a little bit. And uh, like he was still, so he didn't, they didn't stop the match. And he put him on his back, pinned him. Um, he was, it was a slow pin, so he had a chance to wake up, <laughs> I guess. And I, I thought that's, that's, from there I go, Dave Schultz, I, what a great man. And I actually got to wrestle for the wrestling club, and that was the best thing ever. One of the things that sticks out, I guess, was a wrestling match, I think where I, where I turned the corner a little bit, was the cadet state finals and wrestling Tony Trujillo. And it was a, he was a reputable guy, and um, I got a takedown in the last two seconds to win the match and that, that was like one of the biggest things I won at the time and it kind of just sparked my wrestling, uh, that match right there. Uh, what got me involved in wrestling, um, again, Coach Borelli, he, he got me, made it fun. Um, he pulled me from the basketball courts of tryouts into the room. Uh, an, another thing that sparks, sparked my interest in wrestling was the movie Vision Quest. What timing? 1985. <laughs> I saw that movie at the end of my freshman year when I wasn't sure if like, wrestling was cool or if I really wanted to do it. I knew how hard it was. Um, but when I saw that movie, I, I was with my buddy Tay at the time, a teammate. And I told him, I'm going to go to state one day. And he goes, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're, you don't have the ability to. So I looked at that as a, took that as a challenge upon myself. And little did I know I was going to make it the next year. But uh, I, that definitely had a kind of help, help spark, keep me interested. If I had the opportunity to start my, my career over, um, I would definitely start earlier. I mean, that's the trend now. Um, maybe in the 80s it wasn't so much, but there were still a lot of kids wrestling when they were five, six years old. And starting as a freshman was it's pretty late. So if I were to do it all again, I'd start earlier, get that mat time in. Um, get those matches and I've actually thought about this you know what I would what I would do maybe if I had a son or if, if I um, <clears throat> were to reboot in wrestling I would uh, I would probably start gymnastics at three four and five just to you know get the body awareness going 
and then maybe start rolling around in a wrestling room four, five, six years old and maybe start competing at six and seven. And uh, if I could, I would like to be the only person of my era to have the technology that they do now <laughs> and to see my opponent and be able to use flow wrestling and see technique like they do now. That would, that would be huge. But I, I, I would hope I'd only be the one that could use that technology. <laughs> The, the, the question of what I would like people to remember me by, that's a, that's a tough question. Um, what I would hope is that people wouldn't just rem you know, wouldn't really necessarily win, um, remember wins and losses, remember um, state championships and stuff like that. What I would hope is that I was a good role model uh, for wrestling. Um, and what would be really cool is was maybe one day um, have one of my, one of my former students um, at a graduation or at maybe when, if they get inducted to the California Hall of Fame that um, they use my name in a, as a positive. Well, thanks, Sean. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you.